Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn Daily Energy for Tuesday, September 14th. And this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take what does. If it does not, leave what does not. Also, you have the power to change my life for the better. Just by liking, subscribing, and watching my video all the way through, I greatly appreciate any and all of your support. All right, so we're gonna start with an empowering question. I haven't done these in a little bit. We'll see what this has to say. We have, if I didn't feel shame or fear, what would I do now? Oh, that's an interesting question. Does shame and fear hold you back from doing something? If you didn't feel that way, what would you do? All right, I also felt like let's do a Whispers of Love card. And we have Back to What You Love, Reevaluate Your Desires. So these are our two overall energies. Back to What You Love, Reevaluate Your Desires. And we almost have like the same colors. You know, getting back to what you like to do. What makes you happy? That is very empowering, doing things that you love and giving you that energy to do so that you can um, deal with things when they become difficult, to deal with things in the harder times. Knowing almost that you have like, a, like an escape. And it doesn't have to be anything, you know, it can be whatever you, what you like to do. It could just be doing puzzles or reading books, you know, kind of having that escapism just for a little bit to kind of recharge yourself. It could be something as simple as, you know, just maybe sitting watching your fish tank or, you know, starting a, starting a new hobby, you know, or getting your first aquarium, your first fish tank, which is very relaxing. I recently got into that, and let me tell you, that is really nice. It's very relaxing. It is a lot of work and a little expensive, but <laughs> it's a lot of fun. So it could be just something as, as in that. All right, let's see. So let's get some cards. We have Six of Pentacles sharing. Maybe it's, it's, it's getting back to maybe there's some a friend that you have kind of lost contact with or you've been meaning to contact them and go out to lunch. So it could be that. We have Five of Swords. We have Prince of Swords. We have the Star card. We have the Queen of Wands. For some reason, I don't know why, but the Queen of Wands seems to come out a lot, I feel, for, for my readings, um, for Capricorn. Um, I feel like she just comes out in a lot of readings. Sometimes she's negative, sometimes she's positive. <laughs> so we have Seven of Wands. We have the Ace of Swords, we have the World card, we have the Eight of Pentacles, and then we have the Death card. So I feel that it's about transformation, transition, getting rid of those things that aren't good for us, starting something new. So it could be, you know, getting back to what you love, starting something new. Like I said, you know, getting back to that. Um, could be a new job opportunity coming in. Um, hanging out with friends. Standing up for yourself against maybe somebody that is, in this instance though, I really feel like, I don't feel like she's negative, even though she's right smack dab in the middle. And that could be getting back to what you do, getting busy, because the Queen of Wands is also somebody who's very busy. She has a lot going on. Um... Let's see. 
putting your foot down about the stuff. Because he's stepping on those two swords. Those two swords are crossed. And there's two people talking behind him on that Five of Swords card. Putting your foot down. Let's see. We have the King of Wands. He's kind of sitting in his chair by himself. He's got like a little critter at his feet playing. He's kind of relaxing by the fireplace. Five of Swords, Knight of Wands. I feel like it's walking away, walking away from putting your foot down and saying like, I'm not going to take this anymore. I'm not going to deal with it. We have four of swords. Taking that time for yourself. The star card, hope, ace of wands, having hope. Feeling positive. Queen of Wands, the Standing Stone, which is the Justice card. Things falling in your favor. Things are falling in your, in your favor because you're making better choices for yourself. You're making good choices for yourself. If you need that alone time to regenerate, regenerize, regenerize, regenerate. I think I'm combining two words together. If you need that alone time, not feeling guilty about that. Sometimes, sometimes people who don't need that alone time to, um, um, is regenerate the word? Regenerate. People who don't need that alone time to regenerate don't understand people who do need that alone time to regenerate. And I feel like for Capricorn, I feel like, you know, we need that time, our alone time. Doesn't mean that we don't care about a person, but we need that time to ourselves to get ourselves back on track, to kind of fill up our batteries. You know what I mean? And not feeling guilty about that. Sometimes people like to make us feel guilty for that and because they, they don't understand it. And sometimes, you know, people question or are afraid of things that they don't understand. But you have to stand up for yourself and say, yeah, I need that alone time. I need that me time. I need that time for myself by the fire and relaxing and just, you know, or, or underneath a tree in the field by the pond. I need that alone time, you know. And then we have Ten of Pentacles. When you stand up for yourself, that's very rewarding. That makes you feel better. That makes you feel energized. That makes you feel like you're ready to tackle whatever those things that you have to tackle. We have the King of Cups. And he looks very happy there. There are a lot of bees around him. He has a full feast. He has flowers. He's got a big smile on your on his face. The King of Cups is somebody who kind of goes with the flow. You know, he's not really stressing about anything, especially by the look on his face. Like, he's pretty happy. He's got a nice outfit. He's wearing his cup. Is, you know, he's got his, holding his cup up. He's got flowers. He's got a feast. He's got, you know, everything going on around him. He's just enjoying this moment. So maybe today is a day just to enjoy the moment to yourself. The world card, feeling success and victory. And we have the Queen of Wands again. The Queen of Wands and Queen of Wands here. And there's a pretty yellow bird here. Um... And she's sitting there on her bench with her wand up in the air. But she has a smile too. In this Queen of Wands. She has a smile there. Eight of Pentacles. Five of Swords. Eight of, Eight of Pentacles is a new job. A new job opportunity. For the last week, I feel like for some of you, you have some new job opportunities coming in. Or there's something, some kind of new thing. I feel like it's, you know, like I said the other day, it was like opening up the, your own Etsy shop or selling things on eBay or, you know, whatever that is. Like you creating something. There's some, for some of you, I feel like there's a really good, amazing skill that you have. 
that I feel like other people have told you, you really should sell this, you really should do this. And I feel like, again, this is that energy, especially with this Five of Swords coming out on this um, Eight of Pentacles, because here he is, he made these knives, and he is selling them to this person, and this person is pointing to this one, and he's like, I'll take that one, you know? And it's taking that opportunity. You'll never know unless you try. And don't let other people hold you back if there's something that you want to do. Get busy with it. The Queen of Wands is somebody who's very busy. She has a lot going on. She has a lot swirling around her. And I felt, I think the Sunday reading, the main reading is that I feel like, for, I felt like for some of you, it's a very busy week for you. And <clears throat> it could be that this week you look into, you know, those things that thing that you want to do and the death card could be you know letting go of those self-doubt don't let other people or yourself even get in your in your in your head um don't let that energy get in your head and make you doubt yourself on what you can do if you feel within that this is something that you love to do and you want to you know do this that you have to at least give it a try um we do have five of swords twice here but they're definitely both very depicted very differently because here he's stepping on the swords and he's looking away and there's two people talking behind his back but here he's presenting his wares to this person um, so I feel like it's, it's, it's almost like this has changed. Like it's gone from, okay, I'm not going to listen to these people talking behind my back, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to talk to the right people, the people that can help me to get to where I want to go. And I feel like that's sort of this energy of going from self-doubt to having no self-doubt. And maybe that's what you need today. And be confident like the Queen of Wands. You know, the Queen of Wands is somebody who's very confident. And just going with the flow and knowing that, yeah, like when you try to start a new business, there's going to be a lot of ups and downs and there's going to be frustrations. But if you have that belief and you have it in your heart <coughs> and you know this is something that you want to do, that you'll be able to um, go with the flow and work through the difficult times and keep pushing through and keep striving. And then we have the Six of Cups. And that's two kids, like, you know, going on the path, they're holding hands, they're feeling happy. You know, it's, I feel like this represents a dream that you may have had, like when you were younger, that this is something that you've always sort of wanted to do and it's always been on the back shelf. And then we have this overall energy is back to what you love and if this is something that you love to do and if I didn't feel shame or fear, what would I do now? Would you go ahead and you would make this happen? You know what I mean? It's like not overthinking it, not talking yourself out of doing something that you want to do. Don't talk yourself out of it. You know, if you need to have that time to, to yourself to think about things and really think about things and build up that confidence and ready to stand up for yourself no matter what other people have to say and start looking into making things happen. You know? Don't take yourself self out of it. Make things happen. That's what I say. Give it a shot. You never know unless you try. Ace of Wands. Aces are new beginnings and wands are about taking action. Taking that action. All right. Um, I think we're just going to end there because I kind of like this, this vibe and we already did the two cards there, so... Today is the day to take that action. Don't talk yourself out of it. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.